If Western women are nothing that men really want, no wonder why other types of girls get the high-value men. Listen to Kevin Samuels prove it. Groups of women who are taking the high-value men, the three groups of women, Latinas, Asians, and Eastern Europeans. These women are taking all the high-value men, no matter where I go across this country. Because they're more traditional. They aren't constantly fighting and bickering, nor do they bring other men's as kids to a high-value male's doorstep. The Western world is full of pettiness, attitude, and single moms that high-value males don't want to deal with. Many Western women aren't taught how to be wives because they're raised by single moms who were never wives themselves. Kevin Samuels dropped a lot of knowledge, but people couldn't see beyond their pride and ego to accept it. 100% correct. In Asia, the high-value men do not ask you out for drinks. They fly you to taste wine in France. If you like it, they might buy you the vineyard if you're lucky. They find it insulting if you offer to pay. They appreciate you cooking, but they have a chef. And great in bed. That's why we have low divorce rates while the men in America flex 500k salaries and scroll on Facebook. There is an actual high value Singaporean man at work right now waiting for your divine nurturing touch and feminine energy. Because our cultures value family above all. We are raised in traditional homes and taught the importance of respect and gratuity. As you can see, other cultures do promote traditional values, aka the man is the provider and protector, and the woman is the homemaker. Western women though, want all the benefits of traditional men without being traditional women. I think that men are weaker in 2022. 100%. Yes. In what way though? Uh, I think there's something still playing, blessing. Oh, there, it's off. Okay, okay. From, from what I think... I'm going to compare the men I see now to what my dad was. Mm. Now, my dad took it overboard. He was he was over like masculine, over uh, misogynist, if that's the word. Um, whereas now, <clears throat> I talk about the physical side, but this is not the important side. I'm just saying, like now, I'm a dancer. I've been a dancer for a few years. Now I see dancers putting on uh, like makeup mm -hmm. and just not nothing, nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But it's it's a feminine trait, right? So it, it also comes into like the personality side where the men I see now are not as tough as probably my dad was. He was he was he was proper like I run the house. I don't cook. The woman mm -hmm. cooks. Um, you, I, this is my role. This is the woman's role. Whereas now it's all it's all very mixed. Mm. Um, so I'm, I'm just curious, why is that misogynist? You, you said misogynistic. What? Before. Why is what misogynistic? Like your dad? Like why? Why do you use that word? Uh, because he was. He was. Mm. He was. Um, he never cooked a meal in his house. Mm -hmm. Not when he was with my mom or with my stepmom. Mm -hmm. He would say that certain things are for her to do and not for him to do. Anything that was to do with like the cars and fixing or DIY, he would do it. That's not misogyny. That, that. that sounds perfect. That's just wrong. That sounds perfect. <laughs> That's yeah, 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 like if I could, if I, I just gotta cook. He's fixing everything. Yeah, he would do all the like the hard labor stuff, whereas she yeah. would do like all the and all, that sounds all that the sounds stuff good stuff. for women. And I would think that <laughs> is where exactly I think men are not men anymore. They don't do they like, don't do that. They, yeah, they don't people, do that anymore. Yeah. They, would, they would look at me and tell me, "What do you bring to the table?" Ask them, do you, "Can you fix anything? Like, do you know how to fix anything? Can you fix a toilet? Can you fix a car? Can you change a tire? Do you know mm -hmm. how to do that? Most men don't know how to do that. I I like those some traits. men. Some yeah. men. I like those traits. I like those traits I want, still. I like actually, sticking to part of it and i feel like you can still yeah, be a feminist and have no you can still be a feminist and have traditional roles yeah and but, have a home yeah but the, the problem home. is like you guys aren't young virgins so you're that's like demanding traditional outcomes when you're not traditional women like if, if you were a traditional woman you'd be a young virgin like i don't understand virgin virgin i don't understand yeah yeah like like okay so you're 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 describing things you're saying to the men like you're not traditional men and i i agree but we're not traditional women we're not 22 year 21 year old virgins they, they, they value purity and youth the average age of first marriage in the uk is 31 that that's not pure or youthful how many bodies you got by 31 
Oh, okay, loads. Well, it, yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. If you look, at your, God, if you look at your mum and dad, if you I'm look at your mum and dad. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, how, 100%. It won't be like if, that. Sorry. But if you look at your mum and dad, how many partners did they have before they got, mm. they just got together? I don't think they'll ever tell and, me. And, and as well, exactly. Uh, but I just think, I don't think that And we're, over, we're are overweight getting, too. That's the other thing. Yeah, I don't think men, are, men are getting weak. I don't think men are getting weaker. I just think that society wants them. What Society wants us to believe it. And because... Nowadays, everything's too instant. Like you were saying about, oh, men fix the car, men do this, men do that. Nowadays, your car breaks down, they make a phone call, it gets fixed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know? we, we, as women, we can, we can do that. You know, there are some women like, I can fix my car. I can, I can put a light bulb up. I can, I can uh, put a table certi- from I've Ikea together. I've got a certificate together. in car maintenance, so, but I'm not doing it. I do the pink jobs yeah. and he does But do you know jobs. what I say? I, mm. I still like, obviously, we are not going to be virgins at this age. Of course not. Yeah. But um, I, I do like the fact that my partner, when something breaks in the house, I love seeing him take, take out his tools and doing that. Yeah. And then, like, oh, baby, I'm, let me make your sandwich while you do that. I like that. I still like that. Good Obviously, luck. it's not going to be. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not the I, 30 year old virgin. Hell no. But yeah. <laughs> you know. no, and and, and I mm-hmm. I agree with you. Like I think it's attractive, mm-hmm. but it's just like we're we're asking for traditional outcomes, but we're not traditional women. That's what it all boils down to. If a woman wants a traditional man, she better be not only a virgin but also a willing follower. If not, she's free to ride the carousel and bash men for not being good enough. Women are free to call men misogynistic without any solid reasons, but can we call a woman dumb when she really is? Curious uh, what your top three favorite countries are. Let me start here. Aruba. Um, uh, Hawaii, I guess. I guess okay, my country. Aruba, um, Jokes aside, let's look at what women think of relationships these days. What they mean is a partnership, as if this was a goddamn business, but the reality though is that they want the profits, but not the losses. That's always on the man's shoulder. Check this out. Why are men so intimidated by the idea of coming home to an uh, independent woman? <laughs> We're not intimidated, it's I a headache. I think that an independent woman, like independence is an attractive quality. No. How would you define independence? <laughs> um... I mean, in simple terms, a woman who doesn't need a man, but wants a man and okay. wants to be a, also, I mean, I can provide in, in my own ways and the man will provide in his own ways. However, that dynamic works, it'll work. Okay. <laughs> so you said a woman who doesn't need a man, but wants a man. Yeah. So Trust like, me, what do you mean by like, I'm trying to understand what do you mean by not, not? I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not a child. I don't, I don't need a parent. You know, I want to be in a partnership. I want somebody who will, if, if I'm younger than him, for example, I want him to strive to, to raise me to his level. Just like, I feel like, like a, a top tier men are, are drawn to people who they want to be their peers eventually. They like lifting people up. And I think that in a relationship, it should be the same. Well, I think for me, um, I think you're viewing it the, like as a woman. I think it's hard to view it as a man. I think like, I think it's a reality thing because there's certain things that you value that men wouldn't value. So for example, if you let's say you made two hundred thousand dollars a year, right, and your man made fifty thousand dollars a year, you would eventually want him to get there. Is that fair to say, ladies? Absolutely. And and if he was lazy and he didn't want to get there, he wanted to stay at fifty thousand. Would that be a turnoff if he didn't want to get better? Yeah, it's not about laziness. Like, for, here's another example. If I wanted to study something uh-huh. and I knew that I wouldn't be able to work for the next eight years, medical school, for example. Uh-huh then uh, if if my man is willing to support me i want him to eventually be happy with my success yeah so let me let me let me finish my example that, and i want to answer your question so the point is is that you guys want a man to get on your level so guys if a woman was making fifty thousand dollars and you're making two hundred thousand do you want it to make two hundred thousand is that a priority for you guys no not, not a priority so you see guys they're not they don't view it that way mm-hmm. they like you gotta you gotta think about it men are conditioned to protect and provide from thousands of years so there is the men are not looking for a teammate who can do what they do you know like it's like like the best way i can break it but down it's is, not about doing sorry for interrupting yeah you, i apologize but it's not about doing what they do it's about doing me and being supported and yeah and so he's supported a, emotionally and here's a problem a man with options can choose 
and unfortunately you're the the, the worst option no no disrespect no disrespect because <sighs> here's because here's the reality there's two guys right mm-hmm. there's a guy that makes five hundred thousand. all all things are equal they're both handsome they're both tall they're both successful in their own sense right one is a successful teacher making fifty thousand. one is a successful doctor making five hundred thousand. which one is more attractive I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry. I blinked out a second ago. Okay, cool. So <laughs> there's two there's there's two well guys and Stupid. everything is equal. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> one of them makes one of them makes fifty thousand. Uh-huh. One of them makes five hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. Which one is more attractive? Everything is equal. It's okay to say the truth. I know. I, I, it's okay. I find. Truth, right? <laughs> listen, listen. The obviously. feminism in her won't allow it. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I'll answer honestly. She's talking. I want an equal part. I'm just talking. as uh, mesmerized by fancy, shiny things as any other person is. I find that sometimes men who have a lot no, 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 come you, entitled. No, listen, listen, listen. No. I just said everything was equal. Okay, then, then yeah, for sure the man be, who has more because, because life would be better. Because you value that more. So what you got to understand is women who think independence you like that in men yeah a man being independent a man not needing you a man to be able to take care of his stuff on his own that's what you value in men men don't men don't want that in women for because the reality of the matter is when a woman is really turned on by a man when a woman is really in love with a man when she really respects him she becomes utterly dependent upon him because she does not want him to leave so here's what i don't like my, my biggest fear is to lose my independence and to rely on somebody else and know where that comes from where does that come from um i i don't know i mean i mean i've been i've been independent since i was 18 and i think it's a very important thing to i know but where does where does that fear come from i i don't know i don't want to rely on anyone i i I wasn't brought up to rely on anyone and i don't think exactly that came so what happened in childhood either somebody either your experience showed you or somebody communicated that to you because you're you're talking about i have a fear you can't live your life according to fear that's a world-class lecture on what men want and even better what life should be about as hafiz says living according to fear is not good and guess what that's what most women do they enter a relationship but they fear that the guy will cheat on them or get weak at some point so they're always looking for the tiniest of mistakes if not another dude let's check some comments Nobody in a relationship is independent. Independent is single. Don't change definitions to fit your needs. My biggest fear is having the same concept explained to me 50 times in 50 different ways and still not getting it. What she is really saying is, I want a relationship with a man where I benefit 100% and he never leaves, but I can jump out of the relationship whenever I want. Guys, thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more daily content. Like, subscribe, and comment. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.